Tony Gallo over on the Patreon asks, how much longer do you think a GTX 980 Ti will last? Well, it's definitely worth having still, Tony. It is an awesome card. It's, uh, you know, is a 1070 valid? Yes, 100%. Well, it's technically faster, especially if you overclock them, they're neck and neck with the 1070. And, uh, you know, that goes to like the 1660 Ti. But the problem being they're hot and they're kind of, some of them are loud and they need a pretty decent power supply. They were the flagship graphics card. They suck more power than uh, a stock 1080 Ti will. So it's, you know, kind of touch and go there depending on what your definition of how long it'll be valid for. But as far as a 1080p gaming card, it's awesome. And uh, it's not like the 780 Ti, which is pretty much dead at this point because six gigs of VRAM on a 980 Ti will keep it going for a while yet. There's this like, I doubt we're gonna need like, you know, more than six for 1080p gaming and stuff like that until we really see some higher resolutions and stuff like that. So keep using your 980 Ti, buddy. Maximus Prime over on the Discord asks, what's your favorite video you've ever done? And what's the best performing video that you've ever made? Likes, views, etc. Well, those are two different things. My favorite video I ever made, probably the Thanos build. If you're a longtime subscriber, maybe you're not, as this video I think only has 15,000 views. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> uh, this video where I punked the Tech Avengers, which is like JD's Tech Gear, this, the Toast Bros, uh, the Zach's Tech Turf, the Nerd on a Budget, that Matt guy that's real soft spoken. All those guys, they made this thing where they were going to do Avengers themed builds, and they didn't ask me to be involved, but they did put out a teaser video a week ahead of time. So I had a week to rush and make this purple Thanos case. I think it was actually one of the best. It was the best one. Come on. Anyways. So I dressed up by like creating, uh, you know, some arts and crafts to make myself look like Thanos. And uh, it was on UFD Tech's uh, end of the year thing. It was pretty funny. And then it only got like 15,000 views, which makes me laugh. But my most viewed video by far is a video where we still live in a really bad neighborhood for us uh, college students. Like every other house was a college house. And that happened kind of a little bit after we moved in and there was a subway for a party one night keeping my baby up my baby was crying my wife's mad we called the police they never came i went to the door they went to the door so at seven in the morning when i knew they'd be all hung over and i had to get up with the baby anyways i uh we took a little boat air horn i went to their backyard where i knew all their bedrooms were and i blasted a boat horn for like i don't know 15 seconds straight the video got a million views after kind of being attached to this neighbors fighting with broomsticks video. I was like, it was started blowing up on my phone. Like what's going on here? It went from like a hundred thousand views to 300,000 views to a million in like two months. It was crazy. So that one was pretty funny. And then my actual tech video that got the most views was by far the Xbox 360 build. Oh my God. I wish I could replicate the success that that had virtually impossible to, to predict or, and do that. <laughs> Majestic Goat 64 asks, what's your first PC that you've ever built? Well, uh, my first PC I ever built was an Athlon Thoroughbred, okay, T-Bird, actually, sorry, no, it was T-Bird. I have one here. Ugh, it's so hard to get out. This guy here, direct die to, you know, to the heat sink. This is a gigahertz model. The one I bought was a gigahertz model. I sprung for the expensive one. I bought all secondhand parts from my buddy, new PC case, put it all together and cracked the die trying to put the heatsink on. And I just spent like $250 on the, the CPU. So my buddy sold me a Duron for cheap that I had to then use the pencil trick where you connect the leads on the little, uh, you know, things here to get the, uh, the overclock ability to unlock the multiplier. And I think I got an extra hundred megahertz out of it. I wound up running it at like 800 megahertz or something like that. And uh, yeah, that was my first, it was a bad PC build, but I'd been taking apart and messing with computers for a long time uh, before that, like since I was a kid. So that's just like the actual one I first built and bought, you know, PC, you know, components for and built from scratch. Yestergear PC says, what's your most hated PC component of all time? Um... A component? I would like, well, I want to say RGB software, but that's not a component. So I'll go with the R9290. Now, if you see behind me, I have a little uh, experiment my son's been calling it. That's my chiller. It's hooked up to some video cards. I've been trying to do the R9295 X2 and the 7970s in quad fire. And um, we'll, we'll just stick with the R9290. I have 
A dead one on my wall, a dead one right there. I actually bought it for 20 bucks on Kijiji. It works every third time you start a computer. I've got one in the closet that's broken. I've got an R9 295X2 that's broken up there. And I've been having loads of trouble with the R9 295s working in quad fire. So right now it's the R9 290. <laughs> but I'm sure I could come up with a better answer than that <laughs> at some point. Cosmic Drew on Patreon says, you've talked about frustration with the YouTube creator and sponsor relationship. Uh, for example, VPN companies recently, but at the same time, you genuinely seem uh, excited about partnerships with companies like MSI and AMD. If you had everything in the future with sponsorships and finances go the way you'd like, how do you see the relationship developing in the next year to three to five years with relationships with uh, larger sponsors and how they work with influences on other channels? So this is a big one for me and I want to keep this whole question and answer thing more about you guys. Okay. I don't want this to be asked Timmy Joe about Timmy Joe. I mean, if there's a question here or there about it, I will answer it, but I want this to be like, uh, me helping the tech community. If you have you know problems, like little, you know, things that you can't figure out and, uh, maybe my expertise can help you out. Uh, and I get a lot of emails all the time where I actually like respond directly, uh, you know, with helping tech support questions. Now, I don't want to be everyone's tech support. It's annoying, sort of, but at the same time, it is sort of my job, right? So in keeping with this big question, I do want to answer it. So ultimately, like I just did this big thing with uh, MSI. Now I've never been paid to do anything from AMD. In fact, until very recently, I tried to keep the sponsorship things away. I know I did a little bit of uh, windows keys and stuff like that. And that's because it's hard to do this as a job, man. You never know what, like you can have a really good month and do really well from the YouTube, uh, you know, like actual AdSense revenue. And then the next month it could be terrible. And then one month you could get a sponsorship the next month you don't. And you've got to kind of take what you can get. And I'm starting to learn that. That's why I took this MSI deal because I got a lot of hardware that I could use in turn for doing this. And yes, I was paid uh, to do that, but not probably anywhere near as much as some of the other creators that are doing that same project. I am a smaller channel and I probably actually asked for not enough. Uh, it was like it was only a couple hundred dollars I got paid to do that video, but I also got some, you know, components and people say, well, why don't you give that away? Well, I like, I spent a lot of time getting to a point where I'm getting this stuff from, you know, uh, and, and it's kind of an expected thing. Everyone accepts stuff. Linus does entire, you know, uh, rooms filled with, with free stuff. And, you know, if you really want to get into it, but when it ultimately comes down to the, what I wish could happen versus what I probably can't it won't end up happening is I wish that I could be completely self-sufficient. I wish that YouTube paid me enough that I didn't have to take sponsorships. I wish that Patreon paid me enough and I could kind of mix those together without taking like actual product sponsorships to remain as objective as possible. But what I'm finding is that no one does that. No one at all. I mean, the people I respect most, like Steve from Hardware Unbox, Gamers Nexus, they do sponsorship stuff. Like, it's just a thing you have to do. My wife argues with me all the time because I say I shouldn't do this thing or I shouldn't do that thing. Now, when it comes to things I'm willing to do work with, it's stuff I know is good. That MSI computer, I have a 3700X. I know that the processor is good. I have a 5700. I know that it's good. I know that most of those components were very high end. It was going to be pretty hard to pick them apart. Uh, do I have some problems with some of the things that, you know, were in that build? Possibly, but I was literally being paid to be a face for those components. And uh, that's, you know, there lies my internal struggle. I hope you get what I'm saying. Unfortunately, it's just the nature of the beast. And my ultimate thing, Cosmic Drew, is I wish I didn't have to take sponsorships because I don't want to be a millionaire from YouTube. I just want to, you know, be relevant and have, uh, you know, a pretty decent audience and make it my job, which it is. And in order to do that, I have to take some sponsorships.
Alright, so that's been some questions. The whole point of this series is for you to continually ask me these questions and make it about you. Make it about your hardware concerns or your recommendations. There is a lot of that in here and I'm certainly happy that that's the way this is going. The personal questions, I'm going to keep them to a minimum because that's not what this show's about. And I really, uh, if I'm honest, want to make clickbaity uh, thumbnails and titles to rope people in and, uh, you know, do quick you know rapid fire videos to fill the times where i'm working on you know big projects like the one behind me that aren't quite going as well that way i can sit down edit a quick question video for an hour or two throw it up on youtube and i don't feel bad for only you know putting two videos out in a week so I'm going to thank every single one of you. AskTimmyJoe at gmail.com. That's AskTimmyJoe at gmail.com. Send me your questions and I will answer them in rapid succession. Try and make these, you know, quick rapid fire videos. Thanks to everyone who sent one in. And if you ever have a question you need pondering, you want to be featured on the show, well, I'd love to answer those questions. AskTimmyJoe at gmail.com. So thank you guys very much. Couldn't do it without you. And uh, we'll have some more of this later, so keep asking those questions, and hopefully I can be of some help. But, uh, yeah, when it all comes down to it, I thank you very, very much. Have a good time.